Let's learn four concepts today. Image segmentation, semantic segmentation, instant segmentation, and panoptic segmentation. Image segmentation refers to dividing the image into groups of pixels based on some criteria. A segmentation algorithm takes an image as input and outputs a collection of regions or segments. You can represent these regions as contours or as masks. The mask representation is much more common these days. We assign a different grayscale value to differentiate between different segments in this representation. Often we use pseudo coloring to color these segments for better visualization. Now let's see what is semantic segmentation. In semantic segmentation, the goal is to assign a label like car, building, person, road, etc. to every pixel in the image. Here is an example of semantic segmentation. The red color represents the person, light green is the grass class, dark green represents the tree class, and blue shows the sky class. You can see which pixels belong to the person class by simply checking if the mask color is red at that pixel. But we cannot say if two red colored pixels belong to the same person or different ones. We just know that red means it belongs to the person class. But what if we want to differentiate between instances of the same class? We want to say these group of pixels belong to person one and these other group of pixels belong to person two. They both belong to the person class, but we want to differentiate between instances of the same class, person one and person two. Well, in such cases, we use instant segmentation, which is closely related to object detection. However, unlike object detection, the output is a mask or contour containing the object instead of a bounding box. Unlike semantic segmentation, Usually, we do not label every pixel in the image. We are only interested in finding the boundaries of specific objects. We see the mask for every person has a different color, so we can tell them apart. However, not every pixel has a class label associated with it. I know what you're thinking now. Can we combine semantic segmentation with instant segmentation and get the best of both the worlds? Fortunately, there is a class of techniques which does exactly this, and that's called panoptic segmentation. Every pixel is assigned a class, but if there are multiple instances of a class, we know which pixel belong to which instance of the class. It combines the goodies from both semantic segmentation as well as uh, instant segmentation. Every pixel has a different color-coded label. For example, the sky in this example is blue, the trees are dark green, the grass is light green. And people are colored in different yellow, red, and purple shades. So whenever we see something yellow, red, or purple, we can say that it is a person, but at the same time, we can also say that it is person one versus person two versus person three, etc. The colors yellow and red both point to the same class, person, but to different instances of this class. We can tell different people apart by just looking at the mask color. So to summarize, in image segmentation, our goal is to divide the image into different regions. Semantic segmentation is a kind of image segmentation where every pixel is assigned a class label. Instant segmentation is like object detection, but instead of finding bounding box around the object, we find the precise mask for the objects in the image. Panoptic segmentation combines semantic segmentation with instant segmentation. You can find the links to the state-of-the-art algorithms for each type of segmentation in the description below. That's all we wanted to cover in today's video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues. See you in the next video. This is Satya Malik signing off, your guide to the fascinating world of computer vision and AI.
Thank you.